Today's video from Sam Forrest. How we're going to demonstrate how you can force your Grand Total or GT to reset with every Z1 financial end of day report. Um, the reason why you want, might want to do this is sometimes the reports can be really confusing and there's almost, in this, some respects, too much information there. So this is a Z1 report I've just taken. I've actually taken £1,765.70 um, today. There's a lot of information already in there, including the splits of sales, checks, um, a lot of information at the bottom of the grand total. Um, some people the grand find the grand total useful, other people find it just complicates. It's another line of information to look at and in some respects unnecessary information. And so if you don't want it to be there every building up all the time, you can force it to reset. It's a fairly straightforward process, so it is in the manual, it's in, hidden away in the programming section of the manual, so just a word of caution, obviously you, 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 in the programming mode you can make mistakes and you can cause yourself problems if you don't do everything 100% correctly, um, so please follow exactly what I do, um, I'll probably watch the video all the way through to start with before you decide that this is definitely what you want to do, just so you can see um, what, what actually happens. Okay, so you need the metal key marked P, you need to turn it round to the program mode, and then in the program mode, the way the system settings or system options work is that every piece of programming has a code. Um, so to go into system options itself is 30 subtotal, um, and then the address code we're looking for is number seven. So you type in seven. You also, if you have got access to the manual, it's worth looking at I'm getting all this information from page 103, which shows the flow chart, and then pages 104 and 105, which is where I'm getting the numbers from. I'm not just plucking them out of the air. Um, so you've put in seven, then quantity time, then two, followed by subtotal, and then cash. So hopefully that'll make sense. If you look at the flow chart on page 103, um, and then and compare that to what I've done in the video that that should make sense when you've done any program I always recommend turning the key back around to register or even to off depending on what you're doing next you get a little report print out confirming what you've actually done um, and now if we put some sales through now um, cash that off get rid of that error message if I run a Z report now I think the first one I do will still have the consolidated grand total on it so we've got 74431 because it's that total plus the sales I've just done if we now run another put some more sales in oh get the camera whack there and then do another Z report now I'm expecting this Z report one subtotal to only have the grand total reflecting the sales I've literally just put in which is correct so my Z report for this trading period, I've taken 48.25 and the grand total is also 48.25. If you decide you want to put the grand total back on, again, that's not a problem. I'll have a video um, showing you how to do that. It'll be very similar to this one, but just with a slightly different entry. It's probably 7x time, zero subtotal cash, but I'll, I'll put one up to, to make sure you do it correctly. Um, we've got plenty of other videos. Uh, helping you get the best out of the ER900. Some of those will be appearing on screen now, so I'd recommend checking those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforesthelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.